So this is the inside of the server. So this is all the RAM that uh, I was talking about earlier. So we've got 128 gigs of RAM inside of this guy. And then all of these are the individual fans. They're actually hot swaps. So if one of these fan units goes bad, you can swap it while the server's still on. But for what we're doing right now, we're installing an SD card that we're going to install the operating system on. So we're going to shut the server down for that. So this SD card is going to live inside of the server right here. There's a little SD card slot that's built into it. And we're going to install the operating system onto that. That's going to be separate from our actual storage for the virtual machines. Hopefully we stick it in the right way. There we go, so that should work. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on now that our SD card is in. And with any luck, it detects the SD card and we don't have to open it back up. in, push that back in, and there we go. And I'm going to connect the cables back in on the back end. So we haven't done any official cable management yet. This is all just testing purposes. So there's our network cable for the management side. That's it. plugged in. And we're going to plug in our video. So I think the next thing we'll try is to see if we can get our solid state disks to very casually sit inside of here without having our drive caddy. So what we're doing is we're saying, I figured we want maximum throughput, so I got some sol uh, solid state disks for this instead of spinning disks. They're only a terabyte because that's all our budget would allow, but we're going to set these up in a RAID array and have two terabytes of solid state. I'm going to get something to... Beautiful. That's the official HP warrantied way. I think uh, they'll cover that if uh, something goes wrong. And let's we'll see if it powers on. So now we can pull our console back out. And let's see if it boots up. Soon enough, with any luck, we'll have a whole. That's what I left. So I left this whole bottom section open for servers because, you know, these are obviously pretty damn heavy. And long, so this is going to be all for our servers and just general networking equipment and stuff on the upper ones. F9, let's try F9. Okay. So you can see we got two processors, which uh, so it's a dual core, um, and then what would be uh, six, like hex? Hex core, I guess. Six six or six core processor times two. So we have twelve processors basically with hyper threading. And then 128 gigs of uh, memory available, which is how that converts 131 Yeah, 131,000 megabytes turns into 128 gigabytes of RAM. Gotta love the math. Uh, boot control order, PCI. I need to current boot mode, okay. F10 to exit utility. I gotta get into the right configuration to set up our right array for the new solid state. Alright, so I gotta pay attention to the next screen because that's what I missed is it like it quickly goes through some of this and then there's a key sequence that we have to press to configure our right array. Okay, so right after it initialize all this it will tell us but yeah so we can get what is it eight uh, two four six yeah so we can get eight drives uh, with this plane that we've got on this and we're just using two right now complaining about something that's a warning light <laughs> this one uh that orange one that's blinking so there's a little flip out screen that it's supposed to tell you yeah there's no error showing up on that but it will tell you if there's like a problem with the RAM or um, what it's probably complaining about right now is that the uh, hard drive, yeah, so it did not detect the hard, okay, there we go, uh, F11 maybe? 
F9? F9? Let's try F9. Shit, no, I wanted F8. I just saw it finally. Alright, we know that we want F8. F9, F9, F9. Hey, there we go. Alright. So, who do we got? We got Create Logical Drive, View Logical Drive. Uh, so there's one disk for a total of one terabyte. Why is it not showing two disks? Delete logical drive. F8 to delete logical drive. This will be set. We don't have any data on it, so F3. Create logical drive. There we go. So now we see both of the one terabyte drives that we have in there, and we can select how we want it configured. Um, so really, we're just going for the maximum amount of space right now. This will create a logical drive. Yeah, RAID 0 fault tolerance. So RAID 0 means we don't actually have any redundancy if one of the solid state drives goes bad. Um, we get fucked and we lose everything. Um, however, it does strike between the two drives, so it gives us all the storage that we can use um, with a fast throughput. Um, in this case, we're just going to be experimenting and testing until we get some more drives, so that's fine for us. Famous last words, because uh, a month from now, you're going to hear me going, shit, we lost all of our media, and we don't have episode 14 of the TechSmith, but, all right, so biological drives, there we go. So now we have one drive that's two terabytes, so that's going to be our storage drive for um, all of our virtual environments. The next step um, is going to be making a USB boot disk to install our hypervisor. All right, so we finished setting up our RAID array for our virtual environments, but now we're going to install, oh, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the video port, don't stick it there. Yeah. We're going to uh, try to install this ESXi software onto the server itself. Might have to figure out how to get into the right boot menu and see, but trial and error. All right, redundant ROM detected, ooh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> One or more attached hard drives could not be authenticated as a genuine HP hard drive. Smart Array will not control the LEDs to these drives. Well, we ain't got that kind of budget to get authentic HP parts for the hard drives. So, that'll be fine. Okay, get a sponsorship. Yep. Let's see, one tie and boot. Um, I'm assuming that we want number three. It's a USB drive key. Hey, look at that, ESXi. Hey, that's a good screen. So now this is gonna start booting the installation. There we go, finally we get to hear what it sounds like when it's in its normal mode. When it's like first booting, it's, it's got the, feed, the fans at like almost max speed. So that's not bad, at least, until this has its own server room. <laughs> so the big question is, once this actually finishes booting up uh, to the installer, we're going to see if it detects our 64 gig um, SD card that we put on the inside of the server, because that one on the inside of the server is where the OS will live, for the hypervisor, is what they call it. And then the solid states that we installed, that's going to be for our virtual machines and all their storage. What size SD card do you recommend for applications like this? I mean, so like realistically, only like you only need like 32 gig, not even really, because like ESXi only uses under a gig. Um, and that's what like uh, that's what they're made for is to be just like really low resource and low storage requirement because it's just the hypervisor. That's what's running the hardware end of things. Um, so. You know, like a 32 gig. I put a 64 in just because they're cheap. So, uh oh, that looked like some type of error, but whatever, it kept going. Welcome! All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter. Do you agree? Send your life away, F11. Scanning, okay, so this is going to tell us if it sees our SD card. Um, yep. So that's our generic ultra fast which is actually a sand disk, it's not generic, but thanks. It could be a, a fake one. Could be, from China. You have selected a disk that contains at least one partition. Um, well, it's new, so we're gonna go ahead and say okay. Uh, we are in the US, that is correct. Uh, enter a password, super secure. Just kidding. Huh. Passwords match, are they long enough? Perfect, all right. Oh, the CPU in this host may not be supported in future ESX. Yeah, whatever. Um, Continue. This installer F11. Now we gotta press. Okay. Now we're gonna let it do its thing. Yeah. So 
I already logged in and um, I created our first storage uh, partition, which was the two terabytes of a solid state disk that we set up. So I set that up to be our, uh, yes. So now we've got a data story that our virtual machines will run on. Let's wrap it up. 1% left on the battery. And that's that. We'll see you guys later. Subscribe to the damn channel. Give me some sponsors.